Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' is D. Boss reacts to this vid by Sunny V2. This is the scumbag TikToker who faked Tourette's for clout. This is just trifling. This is why I don't believe anything on the internet because of people like this. This is so trifling to fake. But sure, let's see what happened with her. Let's watch. Emerald claimed to have suffered from Tourette syndrome since the age of six or seven, a disorder which made her life incredibly difficult over the years, so she claimed. By mid 2021, at the age of 27, she was using her 500,000 follower TikTok account, Ticks and Roses, to raise awareness about Tourette's while simultaneously promoting her yarn dyeing business. Hi, this is Emerald with Stardust Fiber Studio. Mm -hmm. I am one of the owners. <laughs> I also do, um, aware- I'm sorry, I would've saw that like, bitch, use the goddamn lie. This is don't, this don't even seem authentic. That seems so fake, but all right. Various videos for Tourette's on TikTok. However, it was with videos like the one we're about to show that began to raise suspicions about whether or not this specific TikToker actually had Tourette's syndrome after noticing that her apparent condition felt forced or mm -hmm. fake. I want to talk a little bit about, wow, 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 wow. I want to talk. Wow, wow, wow. This looks like fun. I wanted to talk a little bit. It's about giving. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of this disorder. <laughs> I'm not making fun of this disorder. I'm making fun of the the fucking movie. What was that movie called? Huh? Where somebody had Tourette's. Uh, Deuce Bigelow, Mel Jiggle. That's what it's giving. Cause this is this is forced. I've actually seen a video with uh, someone who actually had Tourette's, and they were not acting like this. Wow, wow. And obviously everyone's wow. different, but this just seems when these suspicions over were eventually the confirmed to be true, Tix and Roses was exposed brutally, eventually resulting in the permanent deletion of her account. This video will detail exactly how the internet came to discover that she was faking it, all oh. beginning with a subreddit dedicated to the truth and an old Facebook live stream. Oh, that came together to explain. We mentioned her. earlier that alongside her Ticks and Roses TikTok page, Emerald also ran a yarn dyeing business called Stardust Fiber Studio, which had its own Facebook page. On this Facebook page, Emerald would She's often host promotional live streams dating back to 2020, before her Tourette's TikTok had become popular Ooh. in early to mid-2021. The bizarre part about one of these old live streams was that, despite apparently having Tourette's since the age of six to seven, during the entire one minute fifty-four second video, Emerald did a tick, not even once. We are wrapping up with cleaning all the little sweet things now. Louis finishing up with the broccoli right now. Mm. In the videos that were displayed on the Ticks and Roses TikTok page, she's often seen ticking once every one to three seconds, sometimes even more than that. Therefore, a full one minute 54 second old underlying live in which she didn't tick once was certainly some interesting early evidence against the authenticity of her disorder. When the discussion of the Facebook live stream began to show up regularly in her TikTok comments, Emerald actually had a pretty reasonable defense and would even respond to a specific TikTok that had brought it up. You should check out her YouTube, Stardust Fiber Studio, and take note of how she doesn't have a tick in any of the videos. Maybe you'll think twice. To which she would respond, hey, so this is a comment I saw a lot and I wanted to clear up a few things before explaining that the ticks didn't happen all the time and that it was possible for her to make short videos without any involuntary outbursts. The excuse was reasonable and accepted by many, well, momentarily. Shortly thereafter, Reddit would uncover another full 54 minute live stream, again without a single tick, rendering her previous excuse slightly less believable. There were other pieces of minutes. similar evidence. For example, she'll post a TikTok titled Nursery Rhymes with Tourette's, in which she couldn't get past the first line of reading without ticking, yet Reddit would find an example of her reciting a written poem for two and a half minutes in an old clip without a single sign of even the slightest tick. The pattern was incredibly simple to follow. On her TikTok, the ticks were uncontrollable, yet in any other situation, they were non-existent. With evidence suggesting that her condition had been fabricated, Emerald felt the pressure to prove that her Tourette's was in fact real, at which point she would apparently go and see a specialist to get a proper diagnosis, uploading a video of her consultation to TikTok. So I know you've all probably seen the uh, chaos happening on my channel, so I wanted to show a little bit of my last outpatient consultation. <laughs> While Emerald likely assumed that this would silence the haters, so to speak, it really only did the opposite. Many were suspicious of the Letter owing to a multitude of mistakes and oddities within the writing. For example, PTSD had been written twice in the list of past medical history. Why was it necessary to include that she was a very pleasant 27 year old left handed lady in the history of present illness? Mm -hmm. OCD with anxiety disorder is just flat out wrong. OCD is an anxiety disorder, and an anxiety disorder is not a diagnosis, it is a family of diagnoses. You would have to say generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, or unspecified or something. This is not how anyone would code or write this. Oh. 
The letter was certainly suspicious. However, to Emerald's credit, doctors definitely have a reputation for being somewhat careless when it comes to writing. Perhaps the doctor was in a rush and put down PTSD twice without realising. Maybe Emerald lacked wisdom when it came to life choices, yet I don't think she'd be dumb enough to print a fake letter without reading over it at least once. Mentioning left-handedness actually makes sense if you're a doctor, who's aware that there are many genuine genetic and neurological differences between right no, and left-handers. Right. Perhaps Emerald simply went to somewhat of a careless doctor and pretended to have ticks throughout the short consultation, providing her with a legitimate diagnosis for a fake condition. Alternatively, perhaps she had simply written the letter herself in Microsoft Word or Photoshop, highlighted by one comment on the diagnosis letter video. Hey, no hey, just curious. I went to Virginia Mason in Seattle a few weeks ago and my paperwork had a different logo on it. Did you go to a different one? An interesting thing that no one on Reddit seemed to pick up on is that the genuine Virginia Mason logo has a small TM placed after the name, yet the letter Emerald shows in the photo has no TM. And if you go onto Google Maps, search on Virginia Mason logo, filter to photos with a transparent background, and look at the first image, you'll see a logo identical to the one within the TikTok without the little TM as is shown in almost every other official version of the logo. With many assuming that the letter had been faked, she would then be trolled by people making their own forgeries of the document such as this one which read, patient, Ticks and roses. Doctor, fictitious. Date of birth, who cares? Chief complaint, fraud. All of which completed in the exact same style as the original letter. After being completely and utterly backed into a corner, Ticks and roses would disable comments on the video before deleting it days later. At the same time, she'd also delete everything from her Instagram page, with one Reddit post stating, TAR has deleted all posts on their Instagram, maybe? Which was then confirmed by a comment reading, can confirm it, I don't see anything on their profile. However, many wanted further punishment against Ticks and Roses. Specifically, they wanted the TikTok account deleted. Take down Ticks and Roses merged platform. Read one change.org petition with over 2,000 signatures. This disease is not a joke and she clearly finds it funny to fake it to gain clicks, followers and even money. She's been selling merchandise for her own personal gain and fortune. As far as I and many others know, she's been faking threats and many other illnesses with proof me and others have found. Like I said in the first part, this illness isn't a joke. It's sick. not quirky, it's not a game. It's a terrible disease with no cure, and she's been doing disgusting things to profit off it. Many went even further by commenting on how ticks and roses had impacted their life personally. I'm citing this because my husband suffers from Tourette's. Every day, his body does things that he does not want to do. It's embarrassing and it wears him out. This person is not doing this for awareness. They're doing this simply because their business has been profiting from the merchandise they make about their Tourette's, which she does not have. I'm asking any and all others to please sign this petition. Having ticks is not a trend. Ticks are not something to try and gain attention from. This person is disgusting. By this point, Ticks and Roses wasn't exactly popular or well-respected by those who once followed her content. It felt like it was only going to be so long until Reddit users found a strong enough piece of evidence to put a stop to the antics altogether, or so they thought. Instead, they would find an old video which actually added credibility to Emerald, derailing the project in the short term. My name is Emerald, and I have Huntington's disease. It affects all aspects of a person's life. It causes movement disorders, such as involuntary jerking, impaired gait and balance, and difficulty with speech and swallowing. In yet another old Facebook live stream, before her TikTok had blown up, at a time when she had less motive to lie, Ticks and Roses somewhat sincerely shared information about her experience with Huntington's disease, stating that one of the symptoms was involuntary true, jerking. So. so yes, I have Huntington's disease. But Huntington's disease doesn't have me. In addition to the video, Reddit users found an old Huntington's disease fundraiser from October 2014 hosted really by Emerald, which stated a Huntington's disease is something that affects my entire family. My grandfather was diagnosed and shortly after my mother as well. I'm doing this walk for my grandfather, for my mother. But it seems like she's just trying to get money, so this could have affected too, honestly. As well. While many on Reddit remain skeptical in comments as blatant as, I don't believe she has Huntington's yeah. disease, the video in combination with the 2014 fundraiser gave her a pretty good case proving that she did in fact have the disease. Or it could prove that she was trying to scam back in 2014. Because she was fundraising, trying to get money. However, people quickly discovered something else associated with this diagnosis that was extraordinarily fishy. In order to be diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome, you must have symptoms that are not the result of another medical condition such as Huntington's disease. Even if she does have tics, which is made to doubt here, no doctor should be diagnosing her with Tourette's. Instead, any good doctor should be telling them that their tics, again, made to doubt, are a byproduct of their Huntington's. 
This basically meant that if she did truly have Huntington's, the case for her having Tourette's was now even weaker. However, there was still no rock solid evidence proving that she was, in fact, a cold hard liar. The people hadn't given up hope, and there was still one place from which the truth could be found her family themselves. In the fundraiser from 2014, Emerald mentioned that Huntington's disease is something that affects my entire family, also mentioning that she had a 14 year old sister. Well, this specific sister would discover the Reddit thread after it had gained international attention, after which she would shatter the wall of lies that Emerald had been hiding behind as her TikTok grew larger and larger. On the 31st of May 2021, a user by the name of Jade4101 would make a post to the subreddit titled Introducing Myself and the Truth, which contained the following message. Hi everyone, I recently found out about everything going on. I wanted to clear up some misconceptions and share my part. I am Emerald's sister and we grew up together. Although we were raised non-denominational Christian, my mother, who is an amazing woman, and I have always been supportive of Emerald and miss them dearly. We have always accepted them. They cut communication with us. We have tried to reach out, but they no longer wish to have contact with us, and we haven't talked in years. I'm just commenting in hopes of clearing up misinformation. Also, my grandpa does have Huntington's. It's late onset, which means it doesn't show up till late in life. My grandpa is currently suffering from the side effects and is not doing well. It's very sad. My mother has it too, but is not yet showing symptoms, thankfully, and I have not been tested. Lastly, I do not believe Emerald has Tourette's syndrome and never showed any symptoms as a child. They are mentally ill, though. I love my sister. I always will, and I wish them the best. But I don't. But we don't know. It's incredibly disrespectful, fake, and mental illness for any reason. I'm extending my sincerest apology to everyone. And how are you gonna say since she was, she was a child when well, you wouldn't even? I do around. wish how old is this all person? I ask is respect and privacy for my parents and grandparents. And if you don't believe me, I'm happy to answer any questions you all may have, as long as they're not disrespectful. <laughs> The post received over 400 responses from those desperate to get an insight into the unique psyche of an individual who would fake a disorder for TikTok. Do you know why Emerald might have fabricated all this? Did they have a tendency to want attention regardless of it being good or bad? Honestly, I'm unsure why Emerald would fabricate this. I was kind of in shock when I first heard about everything. But yes, they do have a history of fabricating stories or stretching the truth, so to speak. Do you know why they cut communication with you? I'm not exactly sure. I've tried reaching out to them to talk about it, but they never replied. One day we were no longer friends on Facebook and they stopped talking to me. I think they thought me and my mum were unsupportive of them, but we really did support them and love them to the fullest. If I did do something wrong to hurt them, I only wish we could have a conversation about it. My own experience with this behaviour is that you know the truth, therefore you're dangerous to their delusion. However, it would be when Emerald herself commented on the post that everyone knew the game was well and truly over. My diagnosis that I've gotten in adulthood, you cannot speak of, as we had no contact, and do not blame my partners. You say that this has been hard for you, and that was never my intent. I started awareness because I never wanted anyone to be ashamed as I was. This is visceral this is ghetto. for me. It caused my children's school to be called because someone said lies, and they tried to take my children. They're afraid to go to school now. It's caused my car to be trashed. It's caused me to be spit on in public because I wanted to help people. The money I received, I donated. I volunteered with the Tourette Association of America. I did public outreach. I was interviewed for a person thesis. I was interviewed for a podcast. I'd ask them not to air it out of concern for them. The messages I got from people saying their child wasn't afraid to go to school anymore because of me changed their life. Or a woman saying her husband finally saw a neurologist and getting help. I met friends who had the same experiences as me, who made me feel seen. Now I've closed down on everything to what's related. I've given up, you all win, and I'm back where I started, living in shame of being different. Please just leave me alone now. Not a day later, the Ticks and Roses TikTok account was deleted permanently. Three days after that, she would address the deletion on her alternate business page in a video which conveniently featured absolutely zero ticks. Hey, I was not planning to address this anymore because addressing it has not fixed it. I was literally bullied off the internet. So I do not do awareness for Tourette's anymore, regardless of the fact that I do have a clinical diagnosis. So I'm spending my time on my yarn business and on my religious group and I just want to live my life and yeah. Emerald continues to post photos for her yarn dyeing business to her Instagram account Stardust Fiber Studio. However, she hasn't shown her face on camera since the deletion of Ticks and Roses, showing that perhaps, just maybe, she's learned somewhat of a lesson from this incredibly embarrassing experience. What the fuck is wrong with people? This is so sad that she will go out of her way to fake this disorder. And because we are so sensitive about mental illnesses and we like to tiptoe around this topic and take everyone so serious that we're able to be deceived to this extent 
this woman got over 500,000 fucking followers and had people buying her merchandise, putting money in her pocket that she claimed she donated. But can we believe that? Just because y'all wanted to just believe that, okay, you're telling the truth. You're you're pure at heart because you say you have this mental disorder. I have to take it serious. Like, no, there are a lot of deceptive people out there. There are a lot of liars. So you can't just take what people say at face value just because mental illness is involved. Like, that was so fake. <laughs> In the first video I could see, like, oh, all right, bitch, this is not how Tourette's work. It don't look like this. Like, it, it seemed like a gimmick. Like, she was clearly faking it and putting on an act. And people let her get away with it for a while. For her to get 500,000 fucking subscribers. Like, that's, a, that's a lot. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. But, you know, she deleted everything. People ran off the internet, I guess. I guess it worked on the end. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.